Jones, Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones. It's a podcast about Indiana Jones. Every movie, one minute at a time. Welcome back to the Indiana Jones Minute, the daily podcast in which we get to the heart of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom one minute at a time. I'm Pete Mummert. I'm Tom Taylor. I'm Jerry Porter. And today we're joined by Hal Lublin and Mark Gagliardi from the We Got This podcast. Uh, They recently had an episode that I really liked where they ranked the Indiana Jones movies. And I'm sure it's no surprise that their top thing from all the movies was Willie Scott. Welcome to the show, gentlemen. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> the most beloved character. I'm, yeah. In Scott, we trust. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Thank you for having us. Yes. Yeah, thanks for coming on. And today we are talking about Minute 36, which begins with Willie telling a Burmese python to cut it out. And ends with our old friends, the false Asian vampire bats, doing a celebratory flyover. (laughs) This is like the Super Bowl of minutes. (laughs) It's got everything. It's got snake pythons. It's got Willie Scott. It's got the bat flyover. (laughs) Fire. Everything you could possibly want from a minute of film. (laughs) That's why we had you here. Yep. Because it's prime. Um... (laughs) We've uh, we keep hearing stories about uh, Kate Capshaw and how she like they had to like rewrite an entire scene of the movie because she wouldn't touch uh, I think a boa constrictor is that it and uh, so in this scene she I, I guess they talked her down to just grabbing a single snake and chucking it and you got to give it to her she, for somebody who's terrified of snakes she grabs the hell out of that thing and chucks it uh, with uh, gusto and and we're proud of her uh, well good job Kate Capshaw I, how many do you know how many takes she did of that. Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. I think the snake's dead by now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, she probably did so many. It's probably because she really chucks it. And and, yeah. and our our oh, resident herpetologist actually said uh, in this scene we see uh, did he say a Burmese python yeah. uh, being mistreated? Yeah. yeah. Well, yes, he did. Say what, that. What, I want to know what she was throwing it into. I have a lot oh, of questions. It's a, now that, <laughs> I think I can answer that, Mark. I have a fact book here. Yeah. It was a wood chipper. That's how scared she was of snakes. She would not do two takes with one snake because she knows, and we all know, snakes have a long memory and hold grudges. <laughs> and a snake wrangler and a carpenter on the set at all times to handle the wood chipper. Oh. <laughs> well, we know, well, now, here's what's crazy. We know that Indy is ophidiophobic. Mm-hmm. I actually, I, I said that just to impress John Bruggen. <laughs> very, very ophi- cool. Yeah, yeah so phidiophobic. Um, and I and I learned how to pronounce it on YouTube. Um, oh, nice. That's how I learned exa- how to tie a bow tie. <laughs> You're like the false vampire bats, Tom. All right. <laughs> um, they. What was he gonna do here? Because he he like points to the snake and he's like, "What?" Oh, uh, 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 and he, you're like, "But what was he gonna do?" Well, that snake's also still probably like a foot away from him. Like I, right? I'd be. I'd just get out of that campsite. <laughs> like if that were me, I'd be at a different campsite. <laughs> Yeah, you, you have to imagine at some point he gets over this, you know, if, if the initial uh, time that he was afraid, as we find out in the in the next film, spoiler alert, is when he encounters the that giant snake on the circus train, then certainly mm-hmm. when he falls into the well of souls in Raiders of the Lost Ark and is in a room of snakes and comes face to face with a with a king cobra and and lives he's like you know what maybe i'll be okay with all these snakes <laughs> i faced my fear yeah i'll come out right. the other side i mean i get it i don't want to be in a tub full of snakes either i think they're they're they frighten me because i don't know what they're going to do next they're completely right. unpredictable animals uh, I was once trapped in a closet uh, behind a false wall with a snake crawling on my leg. What? <laughs> Back up. Um, I have a lot of questions. <laughs> yeah. When, uh, when, I was in, when I was in college, uh, we were doing a prank um, where we, we were going to release 2001 crickets into the school and then a snake to go eat them. <laughs> So um, I had a snake in a duffel bag and I was hiding in a false wall that we knew was in the old beat up school that we uh, worked out of. 
And uh, so me and a couple of buddies just hid behind this false wall until everyone was gone and it was just the uh, janitors in there. Uh, oh my and God. we we released the snake and we took <laughs> off. Uh, in this moment, not until this moment did I go, that was a really mean thing to do to a custodial team. <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> Poor guys. I wanted you to say that you and seven strangers have been invited to a isolated mansion by a mysterious uh, you know, host yeah. and murder you one by one. Or, yeah. I, oh. I was, there were only three of us left at this point. Uh-huh. <laughs> I like that Just you, you and the snake. You were essentially playing seven minutes in heaven with a snake in college. Yeah. Uh, it was... It's a weird feeling uh, when a snake starts to move on you and you're like, uh, I don't I don't know if I'm supposed to reach down. I don't know how far I can reach down because I'm in this wall. I have a girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you think of like playing practical jokes and talking mm-hmm. about that. I think in this scene, the elephant was playing a practical joke and planted the snake. <laughs> <laughs> and totally he kind of set it up by, you know, constantly nudging Willie with the trunk and the trunk. Because we know he doesn't like Willie. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, he already, he already uh, you know, dethroned her from his back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then he keeps, he keeps <laughs> nudging her with the trunk. And then I think he kind of just, you know, works something out. I mean, he's, they're all part of the animal kingdom. You know how they get together and hang out. Yeah. Yeah. He's it's like the Jungle like, Book. Right. Right. <laughs> right. And he goes he goes, Now I'm gonna step back and I want you to come down and pretend you're my trunk. <laughs> Let's I see what think happens. If there was a, couldn't there be like a chipmunk or somebody like as a go between just to kinda get some more animals in there? Like a chipmunk <laughs> like or a like conciliary. Like a, I don't know. Somebody's gotta like be the Tommy Hagen sure. yeah. of the jungle. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Maybe well, that was the bat. Okay. Yeah, there is Well to back that up, Jerry, like right after <laughs> She throws it. Indy's kind of standing there like, what just happened? And they immediately cut to the elephants. <laughs> so, <laughs> they're, they're still laughing. Gee, thanks there, Pete. She does have an <laughs> adversarial relationship with her elephant right away. Like, she doesn't like being on an elephant. That she puts perfume on the elephant. Yeah. And the elephant's yeah. like, I don't want Oh, perfume. I remember that. They're really yeah. violent. Oh, all elephants stink. We were talking stink. about that. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm sure the elephant was waiting just, oh, tonight. When they're sitting around that yeah. fire, I'm, not only am I going to scare her, but I got a feeling the guy in the hat doesn't like snakes. I'm going to do a two for one. <laughs> two for totally. I, I, he's uh, not buying this whole like Shiva crashed the plane and brought them here for a, a re, you know a purpose and a journey to say the elephant's not buying that at all. Right. No. You're just uh, I don't know slugs. the elephants. A minute from now, I, we're this, we're just talking about the first minute, but they do sit down. Just like nobody says anything and the elephants just sit down where they are. So they may have been sh- sent by Shiva. Or they just well, know more than they're saying. I actually <laughs> have, that brings up a, a great question here. And I can't figure this out. Mm-hmm. How many people and how many elephants are in this rescue party here? Because by my tally, <laughs> we've lost a whole elephant and we've gained two mahouts. <laughs> <laughs> and my sister was doing the math on this, and she said she thinks it's actually two mahouts in an elephant suit. <laughs> and, that, and she actually pointed out, she said, that's why in the next scene you see the elephant sits down without a mahout to guide it. That's because there's just two. Because it is two. Uh, yeah, yeah it's two mahouts dressed as an elephant. Just like top secret. <laughs> is there a scene in here where they start to comically go in the wrong directions and it looks like the elephant stretches out? <laughs> that elephant looks sick. <laughs> yeah, you get the one mahout like with a bottle of whiskey and he looks at it and goes, never again. What am I looking at? That elephant stretching. They keep changing, though. The elephant number, the mahout number. No, wait, is that mahout... true? We lost an elephant? We, yes, I see three yes. people no, and three I see elephants. Three. Yeah, I didn't realize we lost one. No, Where we did. We did. There's four. Look in the other minutes. There's four mahouts. Huh? In the no, other minute. At, but, they kinda, but what about elephants, though? We've got three. If, three if three you look at the previous, I think in the previous minutes, there were, I think there may have been four elephants. Uh, oh, well, now you think. The fourth mahout is the one he <laughs> walks up on, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh. that's right. So there's the four. There's all four. Everyone's accounted for. Well, but, <laughs> but if you look, but none of them are in the campsite. 
Except yeah. the elephant. Well, no, yeah, yeah, that was, yeah. That's because they're dressed in the elephant suit at that time. <laughs> <by the camera>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's when they're in to the To stay suit. warm. They're well, operating the... <laughs> They're operating the monkey puppets and the owl puppets and the, you know. I'm sorry, I need and to we go. did learn from... Can I go back for a second to the snake? Yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I, does, does Indiana Jones, does his fear of snakes only extend a certain distance? Because she doesn't throw the snake that far. She throws it, like, right. mm-hmm. ostensibly, like, yeah. three to four feet away. And all of a sudden, Indiana Jones lets out a breath. Like, oh, that was a close one. If it had yeah. been any closer, I would have lost yeah. all my powers. Like, Thank God she has that rocket arm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. What's weird is she she throws this, the Burmese python over her left shoulder, and Indy reacts as if she threw it in front of them or between the two of them. It kind of seems like she did. Like that's yeah. how it kind of reads. It's yeah, weird. yeah. yeah it's kind of like they filmed it a different time because she throws it over her shoulder, and then the way Indy reacts, he's almost like looking down, like, "Oh my god, it's right in front of me." Maybe she actually killed it, or he thinks she killed it, like snapped its neck as she threw it, and now <laughs> yeah. it's just curled up dead. He's like, "Thank yeah. goodness." Yeah. He may just She's be dropping his head in shame. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why do I have to be so afraid? Yeah. <laughs> I can't even protect a woman from a snake in the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> bad archaeologist. <laughs> yeah, that's a requirement to get your archaeology degrees. You have to defend somebody from a snake. Instead, of, a lot of people defend a thesis. You have to defend a person from a snake. To become an like archaeologist. The archaeology trials. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then finally, the blood of Kali. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Three ounces. <laughs> um, yeah, so we got their little, we're, we're, you know, they got their the 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 big elephant, and the middle elephant, and the tiny elephant. Yep. And uh, oh, Indy's elephant has. I, we, I didn't know about this until we talked to John Bruggen uh, last week, our, our snake expert and animal expert. The Indy's elephant has fake tusks. Those really? are like, you know, wow. yeah. Once you see it, enormous. you can't unsee it. They're like razor yeah. sharp. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He said he said it looks like a woolly mammoth tusks. <laughs> It does, yeah. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're crazy. There's nothing worse than when an elephant gets fake tusks and they're just too big and the shape is wrong. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and you like, have to you know, go for like a because you can't say like anything. a sea tusk. <laughs> yeah, it's rude to be like oh, we, weird tusks. <laughs> well, we we talked about this last minute with the whole want to increase your girth. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, uh, this this elephant felt substandard. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is the, we also this is from the, from the beginning of the movie until now. The elephants have always been going from the left side of the screen to the right, and this is the first time they're all going a different direction now. Oh, and I was curious ah. if that's that's a symbol that somehow we're moving in a different direction here in the movie, or what's happening, or hmm. just a continuity problem. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <or> just, <laughs> possibly. <laughs> <laughs> they got lost. <laughs> I mean, the landscape is beautiful. It's weird that they're yeah. in a yeah. really arid yeah. the the. The, the village that he arrives to is completely like drought stricken and nobody has any food. But then on the way to the palace, all of a sudden, they're like the Amazon couldn't. Yeah. I, they have the elephants. They just, Can't they just go get some water? Yeah. Yeah. yeah or, or go back and tell the village, you know, if you move everything like a mile this way. Yeah. There's, there, it actually looks like there are rows of crops already here waiting for you. All the bananas you want. So pe- people have been migrating for years. What's wrong with yeah. you guys? guys they yeah. just opened a Chipotle. Let's just go there. Yeah. We'll get it's lunch. probably it's in cheaper. that big building on the hill. <laughs> that the must be Pancot the Chipotle. Mall. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Well, speaking of the Pancot Mall up on the hill, that's a uh, you know a mat painting. Uh, and uh, in middle school, I was in middle school when this movie came out, and we had to do for English class, we had to do a speech of so- on something like a. I think like anything you wanted to, and I I had been reading you know Starlog magazine and stuff, and like the Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom you know souvenir magazine and stuff. I'm like, oh, I'll get up and talk about the special effects in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, and I knew nothing about the special effects in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. So all I did was get up there and talk about, oh, remember the part when you see Pancot Palace up on the hill? That was a matte painting. It wasn't really there. And so I would just say like things like matte painting and blue screen a few different times. I was like, thank you for your attention. Well, well to help you with your project, Tom, uh, we, we get two of our, our old friends from Raiders. We get Mike Pengrazio and Christopher Evans, who did oh. the, the warehouse painting at the end of Raiders. Um, oh, awesome. And Mike Pengrazio is the guy that did Pancot Palace here. And he also did a bunch of stuff on Star Wars and Empire and Return of the Jedi. 
This did he do the amazing. closer up version of the palace? Yeah, I think he did both. He and Christopher Evans both did that. And then he did like the tractor beam set when the, the Millennium Falcon approaches the Death Star. And uh, Christopher Evans did Slave One. And he even did some, he did the Titanic, he did the Carpathia at the end of Titanic, too. Oh, wow. You know what so. sucks? I, I didn't know that was a painting. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this really is a beautiful oh, wow. landscape. Yeah, like, <laughs> what are the odds? What a thankless job that is. If you've done your job well, you'll never get any credit yeah. for it. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Jerry Porter, 30 years later, is like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Um, can I point out in this scene, since we're looking at this uh, this palace on the hill, this has a pretty terrible ADR right here, right? It's not just me. I don't think that that is uh, Short Round's actual voice. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? I hadn't thought of that. I mean, I, you could easily be right, but I hadn't thought of that. Well, also, like, the well, mix there's, of yeah, there's no way they're mic'd on those things. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. look, a palace. Like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> yes, that is where we are going in this next scene. I'm also here. I'm pulling an elephant. <laughs> you never hear my voice. I could sound like this. You're telling me it's all fake paintings. I mean, now it's fake voices. <laughs> There's nothing left to believe in. But he really does pull the guy's heart out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, he, that's real. That was done. Yeah, that was a make a wish. 20 really takes. Weird. I've got another one for you, though, Jer. I, I, learned, I looked, did a little more research about these uh, fake vampire bats. Oh, please. And the scene uh, with the bats flying over here and in the next couple minutes is actually footage that David Lean shot for Bridge on the River Kwai. Oh, my gosh. And that's oh, that's wow. incredible. I wanted to use that as, as an homage. Oh. Well, you know see, what? Listen, listen, I was going to say, like, it se- they, like, they show those bats so often, and it's so mm-hmm. weird that they're flying around in the daytime. I want to say, like, they accidentally, like, they happened to catch that footage like oh my gosh look at all those bats this never happens we got them on film that's awesome let's use it as much as we can <laughs> but the fact that it's from like david lean it's like oh okay spielberg's like i got david lean footage i'm gonna <laughs> yeah. use it as much as i can <laughs> so these are see i what are i have a whole th- oh go ahead no i was gonna say these are alternative vampire bats are they a different breed are they remote control what are they birds i, I, I can't tell I think it's, it's, it's well, we talked about this. It's Vampiricus bogus rotus. <laughs> because uh, they're, they're, uh, we went to a whole thing on it. I, you know what? I have a theory about this, and I'm just throwing this out there. I think that the bats may have drunken the Kali Ma blood here. Ooh. Because Ooh, I think wow. if, yes, because uh, check it out. If you drink, and I'm wondering this, and we can look in this a little bit later in the movie. I think if you drink the blood of Kali, it might reverse your circadian rhythm. Because, <laughs> because now we talk about what, why are there thousands of bats and they're, they're all dead, swarming around in the day, diurnal, when we all know that bats are nocturnal. And yeah, I'm. I don't know. I'm a little nervous. Like they're gonna have to use melatonin. <laughs> go to sleep. Right. Well, so I don't know how they're gonna do this. I mean, I mean, and I just think maybe the blood of Kali kind of messes up your day night thing. Wh- you know, what? Either yeah. that they're drunk. Either that or they're just totally drunk on a binge. But so Willie, <laughs> Willie actually saved that poor bat then by the camp, like by holding it up to the campfire. Right. <laughs> so she was doing That's him a favor. Exactly right. This is night time, yeah. you bastard. Yeah. I think yeah. all the all the bats had just arrived on a flight back to the US from Hong Kong, which is why <laughs> they were so messed up. But I, there are daytime I don't know if they're daytime bats, but in Austin, Texas, the, there's a giant cave and the bats like fly out every day and it's a whole thing. You stand on a bridge over over the lake and a bunch of bats fly oh, around. Oh, I know you. what you're oh, talking wow. about. Which is yeah. terrifying. Yeah. Like I never want to be there for that. Never. It's every night at dusk. Eat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's still a little sun out. And they're cruising like it's American. It's every graffiti. night at dusk, you're, damn it. You're claiming that last bit of sun. Yeah. <laughs> this is hey, this is not your time. <laughs> We're the sun bats. <laughs> <laughs> they're scary because they're little and cute. That's how they get you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're like mice. Look up close. They're not going to hurt you until they're mad. They turn into Baraka from Mortal Kombat 2. There's no escape. Then. Jeez. Those mouths open real big. They're just waiting to take a bite out of that sweet neck meat, drain your life force from you, and turn you into a bat. That's how it works. 
Yeah, I'm also an animal expert. I don't know if I told you that before. (laughs) (laughs) I do have one. um, This just in from Professor Christy Porter. Oh, excellent. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, What are those bats doing up? (laughs) (laughs) That's it. Tell her we just figured it out. We didn't need We just figured it out. Yeah, they're drunk on the blood of Kali. (laughs) Circadian rhythms are all off. Uh, One of the Mahouts... Hollywood movie production just came through. Did one of the Mahouts always have an undershirt? Because one of them is totally wearing a shirt, which seems like it's against their official sort of like... Yeah. Oh, Barry's wearing the shirt again? Great. (laughs) Yeah. Maybe maybe it's indies. Like, Willie's wearing a lot of indies clothes. Maybe he's just passing his stuff out. Yeah, oh, it's true. Or he just took it. He's we like, can't pay you, but yeah, I have an yeah. undershirt. Oh, I just saw this pile of clothes. I guess we all get some? <laughs> yeah. hey, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm putting on these tusks. <laughs> yeah, boy, they look so fake now looking at them. Oh, <laughs> I know. Now all I can think is he is riding a woolly mammoth. Yeah. But yeah. I don't know when those right, went extinct. Right. I know this movie takes place in the past. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, 1936. <laughs> the elephant yeah. has to leave. 1936. <laughs> Willie mammoths yeah. were still around, right? Remember yeah. that comet? Yeah. That, that meteor in 1936. <laughs> and all the mammoths. Yeah. The elephant can only well, carry makes... them so far because it has to go back to Fred Flintstone's house to be a dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> right. To be a garage door opener. Yeah. <laughs> what makes you wonder who saw the elephant in the shot and went like? Oh, no, no, no. This is never going to work. You call those tusks. Yeah. You can't have this kind of... This is Indiana Jones. Come on. Yeah, exactly. He's not going to ride a small tusked elephant. (laughs) Oh, that poor elephant. Now I just feel bad for it. It, You know, that's that's not anything you'd ever wanted. It was fine with what it had. Maybe the... Do you think... is Were the tusks taken from it? And then they put new ones on, or did they retrofit, like, these tusks are pathetic. we got to really spruce them up. <laughs> well, John They're like veneers? It, yeah. <laughs> well, John was telling us that Indian elephants naturally have very small tusks. They're not like African elephants, so they have... They want- hey, easy, easy, easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's an entire race of elephants you're imputing. Yeah. yeah. So if all of these elephants have small tusks, and he's the only one with the great big ones, he's probably been insecure his whole life, too. So, uh, doubly bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know they're looking Are you making now. fun of my tusks? <laughs> no, man. I'm just writing it. You guys. <laughs> How can I? They're in my mouth. <laughs> sure you want to ride one of the other elephants with normal tusks, not a weirdo like me with these weird curved tusks. I understand. <laughs> Cool. Well, uh, Hal and Mark, uh, if people are interested in finding you guys elsewhere, where's a good place they can find you? Uh, well, our, our podcast, We Got This, is on the Maximum Fun Network every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Pacific time. Rain, shine, hail, sleet, snow, any of it. Uh, and you can find me on Twitter at Hal Lublin and see the other podcasts and stuff that I'm doing because it's there's too much to list. <laughs> uh, all of that stuff. And I am at Mark Gags on Twitter. Awesome. Yeah. This was so fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for being on the show. That's the us. most yeah. exhausting I've ever, uh, I've ever spent for one minute. <laughs> Just wait till the <laughs> oh next one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and Tom, since you also are not going anywhere, uh, is there any place people can find us? Yes. You should uh, come join the party at uh, our Facebook group, the Indiana Jones Minute and the Listener's Crusade. Uh, You can come uh, chuckle with us and all of our other fun listeners and uh, join the conversation. And you can also join us right back here tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat podcast for Minute 37 (laughs) of the Indiana Jones Minute. Tusks. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, who knows? Maybe that elephant will be like, you know, I, I kind of dig this. Getting a lot more looks. <laughs> <laughs>